We're at the opening of Sir Peter O'Sullivan House here in Newmarket. And uh, how long did it take to actually put this place together? I suppose it at first came to fruition about five years ago when they thought, um, yeah, I think probably mainly through Jack Berry and that, about, about having a, a house here in Newmarket. Um, it actually only took 13 months to build um, when Nick, the architect who built Jack Berry House as well, um, took it on came in under budget which is amazing um, but it is a it is a wonderful facility I think to have here in, in Newmarket the home of flat racing if you like I think hopefully the people here will will come and use it get to appreciate it and get to to, to support it um, and I say it's something we as the Injured Jockeys Fund are very proud of. And what facilities do you have here? Uh, we have everything we have a gym um, you know we have physio treatment rooms you know we have actually it's attached to the British Racing School so obviously the kids um, could come in and, and, and use the equisizers and you know they could have the opportunity to, to meet some of the senior jockeys I know that Sylvester D'Souza and Hayley Moore have been in here quite a lot um, I think William Buick has been in here so the, so the you know the, those young kids that you know look up to these lads will, will get the opportunity to see them in the gym training and to get to see them um, what they do what makes them um, great jockeys that they hopefully want to be in the future you know so um, yeah I think it's in a it's in a very uh, being here beside the British Racing School. It's in a very good location, um, and saying hopefully, hopefully um, the people of, of Newmarket will uh, really appreciate it. And so it's about a lot more really than just rehabilitating injured riders, isn't it? Yeah, well, look, everyone knows that you know being a job, being a, the life of a jockey is a great life, but it's a tough life. You know, there's very few walks of life where you go to work every day and there's two ambulances behind you. The reality of it, the reality of it is, the more you actually go out and compete, the more chance you have of going in the ambulance. So, um, you know, but it isn't. You know, it is. We have it here both to keep you both, both physically and mentally fit as well. You know, I think if you're if you're physically fit, you have a better chance of being mentally fit, and um, I think that's an important message for everyone. And do you think this facility, along with the other two, is kind of symptomatic of how? Jockeys are now being viewed more as professional athletes. Yeah, I think you want to try and move with the times along with all the other sports. They all have the facilities to, to try and make the participants in their sport better. And I think racing has really stepped up to the game and especially, you know, the Injured Jockeys Fund. Um, it's, it's about making jockeys' lives better. It's about making them uh, more successful. It's about, you know, hopefully getting the most out of their careers and, and hopefully giving them that longevity. And so finally, how important do you see this as part of the industry? Yeah, it's very important. You know, if you look at the foresight of what John Oxy had, and you know Jack Berry, and obviously the retiring Bruff Scott, um, all the hard works that they've done over the years um, to make this what it is. Um, it's important that we carry on and and uh, not let them down. AP, thanks very much. Pleasure.